Hey guys, welcome to this demo video of Vitz Crypto. Uh, we're gonna go right into it. What you will find is the most advanced viral video transcription and translation tool. So um, let me just switch off my camera and then we'll uh, uh, look inside. Okay, so here we are on the login screen. You just log in with your login details and the first thing you will see is the dashboard, including the number of campaigns that you've run, the transcriptions and the number of workspaces that you've created. We'll go into much more detail uh, uh, in a bit. So let's start creating a new campaign. And uh, once you click the new campaign button, you can see a couple of options here on the right side. You can search for a video, you can, you can input a video link or you can upload a video. Um, so you have these three options uh, once you get into this. Uh, we'll go into this option first, which is searching for a viral video. We'll go here in the search box and we'll go for real estate, right? So what the system will do is that he will look for the most engaging and the most viral videos on YouTube at the moment that are creative Commons. So you can use these videos uh, for your own benefit. So what you'll see here is a couple of videos. Um, you can watch those videos here just hey guys, to see. It's Ken. As you guys know, I've done. You see what the video is about, uh, and what we want to do is, in this case is we want to grab these videos and we want to either transcribe them or translate them. Right. So we can benefit from already existing uh, videos that have been created, uh, and just put it on our own channel. Uh, but then transcribed for, you know, an additional market. For example, in the US, you've got like 50 million plus uh, Spanish uh, speakers, right? So if you want to target that market, this is a great tool to do that. So, for example, let's take this uh, video. It's uh, getting quite a bit of views. It's quite recent, so it's about 2021. Um, so people will be looking for that uh, for those keywords. So we'll pick this one. Uh, there are two buttons here. You can either pick up the link or you can just use the video straight away. So let's do that now. What you'll have to do is you will have to select a workspace. So in this case, we'll just do testing. You have to create a campaign name, real estate 2021. And then you have to select the uh, language that is spoken in the video itself. So in this case, it's uh, English United States. And this is the YouTube URL that we just grabbed. So, and we'll do that. So you can see that the campaign is now successfully created. And what you'll see here is that real estate 2021 um, is being downloaded. And uh, soon we will see that it's going to be transcribed. So once while we wait for that, uh, we will get an email to say that it's been downloaded and it's been transcribed. OK, so let's wait a minute and we'll come back in a minute. OK, so at this moment, we can see that the status has changed to transcribing and we'll just wait for uh, that video to transcribe. OK, so the transcription has been made. We also received a, an email from support at witscryptohub.com saying that uh, it's been successful. Um, so now we can go in here and select this video and then click on this pencil and then we can see what it has done. OK, so here is where you can see that it has transcribed. So it really does an amazing job in transcribing the voice, as you can see. Um, but still, if you find certain uh, mistakes, then, you know, you can easily go through this. So if I would go through this, so I'll just go here and play. It was about predictions. And I predicted that in the fourth quarter of this year, we're going to have a bit of a collapse. And I do believe that. And what do I mean by collapse? And I do believe that. And what do I mean by collapse? What I mean is... So whenever you find a mistake, you just click on the sentence and it will repeat the uh, sentence again for you to understand, okay, what do I need to uh, change here? Okay, so let me find a mistake somewhere. And you got to be careful, as I say, not to catch a falling knife. And so... As you guys know, the national inventory declined. So you can see there is a small issue here because it says inventory decline. 
and it has to say declined. So whenever you do that and you make that adjustment, you can see that it just starts from the, st uh, from the start of the sentence. Not to catch a falling knife. And so, as you guys know, the national inventory declined not to catch a falling knife. And so, as you guys know, the national inventory so whenever you make uh, adjustments, it'll just start over. It's just for your convenience so that you can run through it. Now I'm already three quarters into the video and I uh, captured one mistake. Um, when these mistakes happen is basically when the system doesn't know what uh, is being said, especially with you know foreign names. There is where uh, you will see that you'll have to make some adjustments, okay? So it's in an English language. Now we can change these subtitles into, for example, Spanish. Um, let me see. So for example, we'll do Spanish here. Uh, you, and you can see it's being translated, right? So let's wait for that in order to have it translated. It just takes a couple of seconds, just depending on how long the video is, obviously. Okay. Uh, what you can see is that on the right side here, now it's being uh, translated. You can see that here. Now, now it's going to produce those subtitles in Spanish. Now, if you want to see this here as the preview, for example, we'll do a text color in white and then the background color a bit grayish. So we can see it very good. Uh, we can also change um, here the alignment. So let's do central. We can change the font. Uh, let's take Montserrat and we'll, we can change the font size, the opacity, the line height and the line spacing. Um, and you can choose here uh, what kind of format you want, uh, depending on where you want to use this video, right? Uh, if you want to republish it on YouTube, then you can just keep the original. Uh, if you want to, uh, for example, put it on a one-to-one -one uh, ratio on Facebook, then you can just click this. You can change the color. Let's say we can choose a red color. You can see that here. It's maybe a bit aggressive. So let's maybe take a bluish color, which matches uh, quite nicely with his shirt. Um, and uh, you can add a progress bar. You can add that on the bottom or at the top. I'm just going to choose that at the top and then the color will be uh, black, but you can choose any color that you want. So once you've changed the subtitles, what you can do is just save the subtitle here and you can download the SRT file here. So we will just publish this video and it'll start rendering and we will find an email in our inbox when this rendering has been done. Now, it usually takes just a couple of minutes, uh, but if there is a lot of you know, activity on the platform, it may take a little bit longer. You can see here, um, it was six minutes ago that I downloaded the video. Now, now it's rendering, so let's wait until it's rendered and then we'll see what the result is gonna be. Okay, so you, we can see that the render has completed. Again, we received a email saying that the video has been rendered successfully. And we can see that right here. Now, if we look at the video here, we now have a play button. So if we press that. Hey guys, it's Ken. As you so you can see that the video is gonna play and you can see the video, how it's rendered. You can see the uh, banner on top and on the bottom, and you can see here the translated text. If you want to translate this video in voice, you can just toggle on this switch. Uh, we'll obviously take off the uh, subtitles and you can select here the language that the character will speak. So in this case, I would pick Spanish, Spanish Mexican, uh, and I will pick the male version. Now I can listen to what it's going to be. Hola chicos, soy Ken. Como ustedes saben, he hecho muchos videos sobre predicciones. So it will give the preview voice of the first line. So you can hear what the male voice is in this case. So once you've done that, you can just publish the video. It will render. Obviously we'll have to wait till the email comes in so that we can see how this video is going to be in a different language. Okay, so the video has a completed rendering and now we can have a look at what the video returns right now.
Hola chicos, soy Ken. Como ustedes saben, he hecho muchos videos sobre predicciones y predije que en el cuarto trimestre de este A, in tilde punto y coma o vamos a tener un poco de colapso. So you can see now it's translated into another language. Um, obviously it's not lip synced, but uh, that's not the purpose of the video, right? It's, it's in order to show that uh, part of the market that is not, uh, not accessible in English uh, to show that video here and that they can understand what the message is of the video. So uh, let me just go back and let me show you another uh, couple of examples that I've created. So I've taken a Russell Brunson video here in uh, English, um, just to give you a little sneak peek. Hey everybody, it's Russell Brunson and today we're talking about sales funnels tutorials for beginners. It's a popular video that, uh, that people are watching, so I can repurpose this video for my own uh, channel. Um, let me just get back out here. And then what I do is I usually don't change the first video that has been transcribed into English. I just copy the campaign, right? Uh, because after that I want to create a video that is either in Spanish or with Dutch subtitles, right? So in this case I've created Dutch subtitles, so let's have a look. Hey everybody, it's Russell Brunson and today we're talking about sales funnels to... So you can see it's the same video but then with Dutch subtitles. And what I want to show you now is the same video but then in Dutch, you know, we'll have Russell uh, Brunson speak Dutch. So uh, I, again, I've cloned the video and um, here's where the uh, I've uh, chosen the Dutch language. So let's have a look at Russell Brunson speaking, speaking Dutch. Hallo iedereen, dit is Russell Brunson. En vandaag hebben we het over verkooptrichters tutorials voor beginners. Um, isn't that amazing? So in this case we have Russell Brunson speaking Dutch and we can have the whole Dutch population now accessible to these videos. Uh, we can go into this video, you can see the Dutch subtitles here. For example here it says, um, you know, sales funnels for beginners. And you can just copy this. Why do you want to copy this? Well, uh, you want to republish it to YouTube, right? So um, let's go back and we want to republish this. So we'll go and share the campaign. You can share the campaign to a Google Drive, Dropbox, YouTube or Twitter. Now we will also add uh, Facebook to that. Uh, and obviously you can also download it. I'll show you in a second. So in this case, I just want to put it on YouTube. Um, I'll put it on public. I'll talk about these tags. And just for simplicity, I'll just add this in the description as well. Now, what you'd like to do is to put your own kind of URLs here, right? I'll just put google.com so that you can leverage the, the, the traffic that goes to these type of videos and bring people to your site. So let's publish this. You obviously, if you haven't done that before, you'll have to pick an account. Uh, in this case, I've already done that. So it's already being published to uh, YouTube as we speak. Now, how can we see that on YouTube? For example, here, I would just refresh. And we, you can see here that it's being uploaded and that obviously is gonna be published on YouTube. Now I've done that with the uh, with the Gary V test like right here. So if you want to have a look at that, you can see YouTube has accepted the video as an original video again. Uh, so I can publish it. It's not banned or anything, um, but because it has a, a new video on it with subtitles. Right. So and now it's uh, on my channel and I can uh, leverage all the traffic that these videos will get. Now, what I want to show you as well is um, if you don't uh, want to directly publish it, you can just use this and then download the video. Okay, so and then you can use it for any other purpose that you want. So alternative ways to create a new campaign is obviously create a new campaign there. Uh, apart from searching viral videos that you can choose here, and search here, you can just use a video link. You just grab a video link. It can be any link. It can be a Google Drive link, a Vimeo link, YouTube link, and you just add the link. Or you can just choose upload video. In this case, you click on this icon, 
just want to upload it, um, selected the video, put in these details, then pop up in your all campaigns, right? So that concludes this uh, demo video of Vitz Crypto. Thanks for watching.